I knew this was coming. I didn't think it was going to happen in the middle of the season. Yeah, robo umps. Are we getting closer, Lee? Rob Manfred this week imposed a change. You know, minor league baseball has operated with an automated strike zone, kind of an experiment for two years. Hasn't been very consistent, has not gone down very well. Rob Manfred imposed a change on AAA baseball, the Pacific Coast League and the International League. And it's not it is not going to be use of computers for a robo umpire situation at home plate, but they are installing in triple a baseball. It starts next week. Every team will have two challenges using instant replay on balls and strikes. This is an experiment for what I think we're going to have in major league baseball next year because balls and strikes, home plate calls, moving home plates have been abysmal in major league baseball this year. The stuff that's gone on with home plate umpires is disgraceful. We had an incident in a Padre Phillies game early this week. Home plate umpire, upon further review, missed 20 balls and strikes calls. 20? 20. You know, moving strike zone. Mm -hmm. So they're doing this. Now, the only question I have, I, I, and I, I don't want to see computers calling balls and strikes in games. I think there's a human element, and the human element has to get better. But there are mistakes. So you, you're going to be able to now come out of the dugout and say, I want that pitch reviewed on instant replay. But why only give a manager two reviews in nine innings? That's not enough. No, I mean, maybe it should be five or maybe four. Or if you, you give him four and he gets one, he gets an additional one if he's right. But they're only limited to two. At least that's what they're doing in AAA baseball. Um, I don't know. Do you like that? I'd like the challenge rather than, rather than have the robo ump with the computers and all that. I just want them to get it right. Okay. And so you can, can we depend on human um, umpires? Maybe, but they only can only be so accurate. Now, one of the criticisms or comments I've heard is maybe they need to stop drawing that white rectangle on the screen because it's not always accurate and it creates a false expectation for the fans. Many people think that the umpires are actually a lot more accurate than we think they are. Well, the there was an evaluation last year that said the umpires' balls and strikes calls had improved from 83% to 91% last year. Okay. I don't see 91% this year. I see way too much. But that that's the hard part. We're sitting at home and we're watching a Padre telecast or a Dodger telecast or ESPN telecast. but the, And the camera angle from center field may not be right on mm -hmm. behind the pitcher and home plate. It might be off to an angle, which kind of distorts everything. Correct. And then you got these guys throwing us wicked stuff that's biting and jumping and all mm -hmm. that. I think it's a very hard thing. I, I like the idea of instant replay challenge for balls and strikes, but it should be more than two calls per game. Make it four, make it five. And I don't, you know, I don't think you're going to have a ton of delays. Well, they're doing something finally. So, Trying. so if this works, then let's start adding, you know, even more appeals. Okay. You're a baseball fan. You want to see instant replay challenges on balls and strikes? Or would you rather see computers, robo-umps, instead of the guy blowing the call behind home plate? Jump on board in fans' form. That's all things baseball.